this is Castle here and we are going to create a noton. We're going to need several things. We're going to need a piece of white paper. We're going to need a white pencil, a black piece of paper, scissors, glue stick, maybe an, and an eraser at the very end. So to get started, I'm going to take my piece of black paper and I'm going to draw some shapes. I'm going to draw um, some organic shapes and some geometric shapes. And when I draw my shapes, I want the uh, I want the line that I use to draw my shape to start and stop on the edge of the paper. And I want to fill up my paper kind of, but be very careful of where you place your shapes and put some shapes inside of others like this so we can have kind of a double image going on. So I'm going to add some more shapes to some of the empty places and mix it up. You know, you can combine organic and geometric so they're kind of uh, the same. And if you don't like it, you can erase it because it, you know, the white charcoal pencil and that erases pretty easily off of the black paper. Change it to go the other direction because we do want at least one shape on each side of the paper. And because one, one of the things that we want to create is balance and we want to create a harmony between um, the black and white that we'll show later on. And a balance between organic and geometric. And you know, again, be careful of your placement. You don't want shapes overlapping each other and you don't want them um, too close to each other so that um, so that you know you cut off parts that you shouldn't cut off. We want your shapes to be completely whole when you are finished cutting them out. So now we're going to speed up just a little bit and I'm going to show you how to make sure that the black piece is in the center of the white piece. So the white paper is 12 inches wide the black paper is five inches wide, so uh, that leaves seven inches for the border around there. So half of seven is three and a half. So I'm just measuring to make sure, you know, three and a half inches in from the sides to make sure that my piece is centered. So, and I marked those places, and now I'm going to trace around the black piece to get. And that will be where I you know, glue the final black solid piece. Um, now I'm going to cut my pieces out. And we are going to glue these down so that they are a mirror image of where, you know, what, where it was placed before. So my little triangle, I fit it in, flip it to be a mirror image, and then I'm going to glue it down so that the edge of it is right up against that pencil line that we just drew to center the black piece. Then I'm going to cut, cut out another piece and that piece has another line inside so I'm going to cut out that shape. Keep your shapes in one piece as best you can. So this is going to have two flips so I'm going to flip the bigger piece and then the other piece is going to go back inside the square. So it's opposite. And I'm going to make sure I get it where it should be. And everybody makes mistakes. Make sure I you know, play with it. Make sure it fits right place. So I'm going to flip that back 
into the square and I'm going to line the edge up right along that pencil line. And don't glue down your square when you first center it because you got to cut all these shapes out and cut them out one at a time. That way you won't lose anything. Cutting. Um, we're going to stop. And I'm going to speed this up a little bit faster, and you can watch what happens or how it develops. Oops, and I cut that one just a little bit. It got carried away cutting out that little triangle. When something like that happens, be, you know, be very careful when you glue it. Don't tear those extra pieces off going to just very carefully line it up and no one oops, I put the glue on the wrong side everybody makes mistakes so even me make sure that little piece is lined up where it should have been you know, the part that I got a little bit of, you know, carried away and then when you glue it down nobody's ever gonna know We're gonna, I'm going to stop talking for a few minutes and you can watch the whole thing develop and I'm going to speed it up too. So, yep. That's my German Shepherd playing with his squeaky toy. He loves squeaky toys. Hope you enjoy his um, little song there. Okay, so I'm getting my last piece in there. Before I glue the center down, I looked around and I decided that I needed one more piece cut out of that upper left side and to kind of even out the, all the shapes that I have there on the right. So there's a lot going on on the right and we want balance, so I added more. Now I took a new sheet of paper, notice that's not the same piece of paper, and instead of holding that in my hand, I laid it down on a different sheet of paper so that I could put glue on the back. And I'm going to press it down really well, and now I'm going to erase the chalk lines and glue down anything that's um, sticking up. marks are erased and I'm getting my little pieces glued down and now I'm going to decide which way goes up and I like it that way and now down at the very bottom right hand corner I'm going to sign my name and put my period then I forgot one thing, all responsible students put their name on the back of the work, somewhere in the middle, 
and big enough that I can see it. So first name, last name, and period in order to get your piece graded and full credit for that. Thanks for watching.